whistle and they give the foul. They'll get another chance to do this again. Mm -hmm. And well, the now. Yeah, well, they don't have a timeout, so the Celtics, in essence, could know exactly what they're doing. Mm -hmm. at denying. Fultz had nowhere to go. Looking, he didn't want the five count. So he tries to just throw it off Al Horford. That didn't work out. Smart, of course. Hits of the course floor. he does. That's a Tommy point. Of course he does. Gets the timeout. Subs can advance. Down by one. 15-7 rebounds, seven assists for Smarts to the game. Celtics next game Wednesday night against the Pacers. Stream all our games on NBCSportsBoston.com and the My Teams app. Boston Celtics live stream is presented by Nissan. Shop NissanUSA.com. You got to think it's going to Jalen Brown here. Somehow, some way, him getting to his right hand. With the Celtics having one timeout, you want to go quick. If you miss or anything happens, yeah. you want to have an ability to call a foul, make a foul, and then you can advance it. But right now, I'm looking for Jalen Brown to get to his right hand. All right, William's going to make the inbound pass. Defending. And it comes thrown kind of wild and picked off by the Magic. Wow. Back to Wagner and a foul is given. I don't know what happened on this. It just, it just play was set up for Jalen Brown to get the ball and go right. Grant just rushed it. Jalen Brown was going to get that ball on the run, and he was going to turn the corner. I think Grant just kind of jumped the gun here. But listen, two free throws, regardless of what happens. Celtics have a timeout. Yeah. They can go and advance the ball. Well, Crowder will come back into play right about now. Really need one of these. Three-point game, 5.3 on the clock. Boston calls a timeout. They'll be able to advance it to half court. And they'll have 5.3 seconds to come up with a tying three-point field goal, which you would think you got to go for, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah. You have no, at this point, down three, no choice. Plus the fact that you don't have another timeout, so you can't play this game all over again. That was a good play that they ran. It just... Brown just went a little too early, a little impatient with Jalen Brown clearing that screen. Don't forget, coming up right after the game, Amina, Eddie, Chris, and Scal all will be here for Post Game Live, presented by the New England Forward Dealers. Late here on a Sunday afternoon, maybe qualifies as early evening. It's so funny how the schedule goes. You're looking at the West Coast swing, you're thinking, come back. Get your sea legs under you against yeah. Orlando, <laughs> you know. And this has been probably, would you say, Mike, maybe the two toughest games for us this season as far as the physicality and it's something yeah. Celtics had to endure. These guys have played tough, they played physical, and we have not played well offensively. Now, off these two games, especially for Magic to hold on here. Do you see a lot more of that now? People down the oh, we have, Mike. We've been seeing this since the Brook since the Miami game, game number two here. We have to see them much more teams, teams that are trying to be physical with us. Mike Bonkeo has backed off a little bit now. Backed off totally. Williams to make the inbounds pass. 
looking, looking. Finally does get it in. Shot goes up. Short. Ball game. Well, close to it. Four tenths of a second being put back on the ball. Mm, disappointing. Yeah, not much out of those two passes. That's two passes no. getting the ball in. I mean, not even close to being able to get a shot. Yeah. Late in the game, got 